Oh, Canada, you have fallen very low. And the blood of the innocent children is crying out. And the pastors are terrified that they will lose the incentives of the charitable tax status. It's better to pretend I see nothing, I hear nothing, and I'll say nothing. It's better to fly under the radar. I was, I was told by many, why can't you just be like the rest of us? The preachers from the pulpit and the Christians, so-called, they have absolutely no problem going to bed with a whore of Babylon for incentives. We have sold Jesus for money. Once again, we've sold him for the 30 shekels of silver. And some sold him because of fear, like Peter did. We as believers, real believers, I'm not talking about fake believers. I'm not talking about the believers that they don't care about Jesus. They don't care about the kingdom of God. But when difficulty comes or sickness comes, and they will run to God and say, God, help me, help me, help me. Like, why? Why should I help you? You hate me. Oh, no, I don't hate you, Lord. Yes, you do. You rebel against me every single day. Have you ever met Christians that are on fire for Jesus on Sunday and they work for the devil on Monday? I would say majority of Christians in this country are that. They have no problem to forward evil during the week as long as they show up on Sunday and lift their filthy, dirty, bloody hands to heaven, expecting God to listen to their prayers. That doesn't work that way. Once God said to me, their prayers do not even leave the ceiling.